Hello developers, in this video what we're going to learn is about how to request permissions on runtime and how the Android SDK changed the permission uh, policies uh, from really granular permissions to permission groups. In the past, for example, to ask permissions to get the location of the user, you have to use two, two permissions find location and course location. That is grouped now in a group called location. So in the newer versions of Android, you don't have to ask for as many permissions. You have to ask for the groups. So it looks like you're requested less permission than you are actually. And that's good because sometimes the user can get overwhelmed if he sees too many permissions. For example, send and receive SMS. There used to be two permissions and now there are one. So it's easier for the user to decide. And also in the newer versions of Android, the permissions requests are not uh, requested in the APK installation. They, are, they need to be requested on runtime. So for that, I have created a little snippet because that's a repetitive code and I don't want to be creating it all the time. So to show you that, let's go to the main activity and I have pasted that snippet in GitHub just to copy and paste. So I'm going to copy and paste it from here and put it in my main activity. So basically it's a region and in the region you can see uh, this method try to get permissions. In here it asks if the SDK is greater or equal than SDK 23. And if it's greater or equal, you have to request the permission on runtime because during the installation process, uh, they were not requested. So in here, you go to get permissions async. So let's go to definition. And in here, um, I have a constant for the permission that I want to request. And first I check if I have this permission. And if I already have them, I will show a toast. The toast is not necessary. You can like just comment it out. It's just to for me to see the flow of the of this new snippet. If you don't have permissions, I'll show an alert dialog. That dialog will request will ask the user if he wants to grant permission. And here I wrote a special permission, but you can change that for the actual permission that you're going to request, like location permission. I just put a special permission as a generic term. So if they say yes, we request the permissions and you will see um, a prompt asking uh, for you to grant the permission. And after that, uh, you will see the result. If the person grant the permissions, this code will run. It means that the permissions were granted and that's why I write here special permission granted. You can actually write the permission that you're asking for, like location permission granted, or you just you can just like uh, comment it out at all. Again, this is for handling the flow of the AI application. Also, if they deny it, I show a toast to say that the permissions are denied. But again, you don't have to show this. And basically, that's, that's it. Um, I'm going to run this application. I think I already granted the permissions, so um, you will see the toast. But in the case you run the application for the first time, uh, you will see that the application is prompting you for, for the for the permission, I'm going to stop this because I forgot to ask for them. So to use this snippet, what you have to do is go to the main activity on create and change into async. And then you do a wait, try to get permission. And that will show the, the request. And if they're already granted, it will show the toast.
Okay, so it's greater or equal than 23. Uh, let's run. And now the application is asking us for the permissions. If we allow, we will grant the two permissions, the course location and the file location. And that is the special permissions are granted. So this code, I didn't, it was, uh, well, I, I wrote some part of it, but most of it was taken from a blog post from uh, James Montemagno from Samarin. He explained in this um, blog post about the permission and the permission groups and the flow. And here you will see what is the different flow if the SDK is greater or equal than 23 or if it's um, lower than 23. So I use his code as base. So you can just edit like just a little bit. Basically, if you see the snippet here that I post in GitHub, the only thing that you have to do is this permission group location, you should ask as many permissions as you want to ask for. So that's pretty much it. If you need other permissions, you can write it there. So with this, I will finish the video. I will post this address so you can just copy and paste the snippet. And also I will post the original uh, blog post. So you can take a look on how it's working now. Thanks for watching and I see you guys in the next video.